I am Dr. Fernanda Camargo and I am the equine extension professor of the University of Kentucky in Kentucky and today I'm here to talk to you about how to assess the body condition scoring of the horse. So the body condition scoring of the horse is um, a scale that we use from 1 to 9. It was developed in 1983 by Dr. Henneke and it, uh, it is a very objective way to assess the body condition scoring of a horse. We look at, into fat deposits in different areas of the horse and we assess a scale from 1 to 9. 1 being very poor and very emaciated and 9 being obese. So the first thing that I do when assessing the body condition scoring of the horse is to look at the whole horse as a total and to see if I can actually see some ribs, okay? The reason why I do that is because the ribs of the horse at a scale of five, it says that ribs are not visible but can easily be touched and felt, okay, when you do the palpation of the horse. So when I look at this horse, and this is Swampy here, when I look at him, I actually cannot see ribs, which means that this horse is going to receive at least a five and maybe higher for his BCS on the ribs alone. So if I cannot see ribs, then the next step is to actually go and touch. And I can actually easily touch uh, and feel each individual rib on this horse. So for his ribs, I'm actually going to give him about a six, and, I, I, and six means on the chart that it has some fat coverage on the rib. It is important also to say that from one to nine, one being the, the, the poorest and the nine being the most obese, any horse should perform to pretty much anything in a body condition score of about four to five to six. Uh, endurance horses sometimes are kept a little bit more lean, so they're in a body condition of about four and maybe hunters are generally kept at a body condition of about six. Even pregnant mares, uh, they can be very successful at a body condition of five to a six. It is also important to say that um, this uh, scoring method does not take into account the size of the belly of the horse. I see a lot of people saying my horse is so fat, look at the size of the belly, and that actually does not get into account because a pregnant mare can be nine months pregnant, 10 months pregnant, and still be at a poor body condition overall. So the, the, the hay belly, when horses are eating a lot of hay or grass, that does not get into account. So it's the fat deposits of the ribs first, that's where we look. And then, like I said, we first touch, look at the ribs and then we touch the ribs. And then I go to the withers of the horse and we have to feel the amount of fat deposit around the withers of the horse. And at this point, you need to take into consideration the breed of the horse as well. So this horse here is a quarter horse, but he has actually some withers. Some quarter horses are total round and what we call a barrel and they have no withers and sometimes they're not so fat, it's just their conformation. The other breeds uh, that also sometimes don't have withers would be Arabs, walking horses, those horses sometimes you, you can not just make them a nine and give them a nine on the withers just because they, that's their conformation. And other horses such as thoroughbreds or sometimes even walking horses also, they can be both uh, sides of the spectrum, can have very, very, uh, sharp withers and you cannot just give them a one on the withers just because they have that's their conformation. The other place that we go is behind the shoulder and the fat deposit that is behind the shoulder of the horse and you can see when I touch it like this, do you see it jiggling? So this is some fat deposit. He is not too fat. He's, again, is gonna have more or less a six here. He's actually flush, but there is some amount of fat over here, uh, which means that he is in good body condition. Uh, he's at about a six here also. The next one place that I go is the neck of the horse.
when the horse starts to lose condition, they start decreasing their fat and sometimes the neck becomes so thin that gives the impression that the horse head is really, really uh, big. And that's not that the head is too big, it's because the neck is really thin. And when the horse starts to get very fat, the last place that they accumulate fat is actually over the neck. And horses that have certain conditions such as equine metabolic syndrome may develop a cresty neck. And the cresty neck can predispose, the fact that the horse has a cresty neck, he can be more predisposed to laminitis and other problems as well. So to see the neck of this horse, I just touch and see the amount of fat that is deposited. And he also has a neck of about a six. So, so far, Swampy has scored a six overall. The last place that I go is the tail head. The tail head is, uh, there are some fat deposits here also, and this is also a place that you need to assess. So Swampy has some fat deposits here, and, uh, but also of a six. And the last place that we go is the loin area. So the loin area is not over the back, is not over the rump, it is actually the loin area of the horse, okay? And as the horse has become more thin, you're going to have what we call a ridge over the loin area because we see all the vertebrae happening here. And as the horse starts to gain more weight, this is going to become um, like almost like a valley where there's so much fat deposit here that you can actually have a little valley uh, over there. So Swampy has a very flush loin area continuing to give him a body condition of six. So these are the areas that we assess for body condition scoring using the Henneke scale and this is a very objective way to assess if your horse is in good condition, is in poor condition and again a condition of five or six is perfect for the majority of uh, the performance that we're going to require of our horses. Thank you.